Given the controversy and expectations surrounding Scream 7, the movie has a lot to prove, including that it can somehow feature a death that tops one of Ghostface's most memorable kills. The slasher film is directed by Kevin Williamson, the franchise's creator and writer of Scream, Scream 2, and Scream 4, and the script is reportedly penned by Guy Busick with a story by Busick and James Vanderbilt, the writers of Scream, 2022, and Scream 6. So, Scream 7 has a lot of talent and experience behind the scenes. But that doesn't guarantee that the movie will be successful. Not much else is, concretely, known about Scream 7's story other than the fact that Neve Campbell's Sydney is returning. While not confirmed, Courtney Cox will also likely reprise her Scream legacy role as Gail Weathers alongside Patrick Dempsey as Detective Mark Kincaid, Sydney's husband. With an impressive cast and respectable crew, Scream 7 has high expectations. Only time will tell if it's able to live up to them, but if the film includes a ghostface kill that can top one from Scream 6, it'll be a success. Scream 7 will struggle having a ghostface kill as brutal as Anika's latter death. Anika's death is one of the franchise's most memorable. As the most recent movie in the Scream franchise, Scream VI's kills are fresh in fans' minds. However, even if Anika Kyoko had died in an earlier film, her death would still rank as one of Ghostface's best kills. Anika was Mindy Meeks Martin's girlfriend and a part of the central friend group in the sixth installment, unfortunately, Anika's fate was sealed the moment she started crawling on the ladder between apartment buildings to escape Ghostface, who turned out to be Ethan Landry. He had previously stabbed her, so, Anika was weak as Ghostface started rattling the ladder, making her fall to her death. It was horrifying and memorable, and Scream 7 will have to find a way to top it. Anika's Scream 6 ladder death is one of the most brutal ones in the franchise. It ranks somewhere at the top alongside Tatum Riley's, Maureen Evans, and Casey Becker's deaths. Heading into the next film, Scream 7 has a lot to live up to, especially because Ghostface murdering Anika by making her fall to her death is one of the more recent kills in the franchise. Ghostface kills are one of Scream 7's biggest challenges. The new movie needs kills that don't feel repetitive. With each new Scream movie, the writers have to devise at least one Ghostface kill that accomplishes two things, first, it must be shocking enough to be memorable, and two, it must be inventive and not feel like a repeat of a past murder. Anika's latter death successfully achieved both goals. As a result, it's regarded as one of the best and most brutal deaths in the franchise. Hopefully, Scream 7 will feature another noteworthy ghostface kill to add to the list, but the pressure is on.